subjective exam with uh, observation. So you have to properly disrobe your patient and um, do uh, views from all angles. So go ahead and stand up. And uh, I usually start from. Go ahead and turn this way. Yeah, there you go. So. Um, you know, you of course look at all your lumbar stuff like you normally would. Um, scoliosis, you want to look at the um, uh, sort of their thoracic spine, whether they are kyphotic, um, lordotic, crazy as that makes sound, or just flat. You see a lot of people with uh, flat thoracic spines. It's just an observation that may or may not tell you anything. I mean, I think that, uh, you know, flat thoracic spine is obviously not ideal. Uh, anatomically, so they, those people may have more problems. I don't know if it's sort of really any, any evidence for that, but um, you can look at you can look at that. Um, you can you know look at uh, height difference uh, between shoulders. You get you know handiness can play a role in that, um, or different uh, sports will kind of play a role in that. Tennis players are obviously uh, going to be a lot more developed on one side versus another. Um, scapular um, positioning. Whether they whether they wing or not, um, you can kind of get an idea of uh, the uh, bulk of the different uh, scapular muscles and rotator cuff muscles. I mean, sometimes you'll see a little bit of a divot here in supraspinatus or even infraspinatus if they're actually atrophying those mus those muscles. Um, from a side view, you can look at uh, you know a for uh, whether they have a forward head or not. You can look at their uh, shoulders whether those are rounded or not. These are all impairments that you know, you of course, should be addressing in your uh, in your treatment plan. Um, anything else? So that's the you do all that in standing, typically, um, and then you'd move on to your uh, shoulder clearing in in, uh, in standing. That would be the other thing you do in standing. We looked at that earlier, and we'll put this all together again, you know, in a few more sessions. But just to kind of give you guys a heads up. Um, you would then uh, move them into seated, where you start your cervical range of motion testing. So um, you can uh, you can bring them. Uh, the first thing I tell people to do is uh, is check flexion. So uh, bring your chin down towards your chest, and uh, any problem with that, any pain with that, and then come on back up, and then uh, go ahead and bring your chin down towards your chest again. The overpressure is going to be here. Stabilizing uh, thoracic spine and shoulders and applying downward pressure. Very gentle and light, and you can kind of help them out of it if, if you want to. Um, and then I'm going to have that. Go ahead and tilt your head back and look up at the ceiling. And all the way back as far as you can go. Any problem with that? Typically, I definitely have people um, come on back. Uh, keep their eyes open with this. This is one of the first, this is one of the clues that, um, that you're going to have in terms of. Uh, whether you need to do some particular artery testing. I mean, clinically, this is basically what I use for my uh, particular artery testing. Uh, go ahead and tell your head back. Eyes open, of course, so you can see the stagmus or not. Overpressure is going to be here and here. For people with TMJ, you got to be a little bit careful. But again, these are very um, gentle overpressures. You know, it's a very kind of pro provocative position. You've got to be careful with these people. So that's extension. Um, Go ahead and uh, turn your head to the right, yep, like this, as far as you can go, kind of push a little bit. So any problem with that? Come back to the center. And then come on up this way. And kind of push a little bit. Any problem there? And back to the center. Again, looking at eyes, uh, all that kind of stuff we talked about with extension. Turn this way again. Okay, and overpressure is going to be here and here. I am stabilizing. Shoulder here. And then it's just gentle into overpressure. And then kind of turn to the left. You right? Mm -hmm. And back to the center. Any problems? Okay. Um, go ahead and uh, move your uh, right ear to your right shoulder. Right ear to your right shoulder. <laughs> and back to the center. Do it again. Okay, over 
picture here. You see that? And then uh, quadrant to the extent that you need it. Could you go uh, single uh, ranges or combined? Combined. Just combined alongs. Okay. So a um, couple different ways to do this, but what we're going to show you is you're going to you're going to do um, combined extension, uh, rotation, and side bending. So it's all going to be 